Coach Bryant walked in and he welcomed us to the University of Alabama. He said, there's four things I want you to accomplish while you're here. He said, number one, always be proud of your family. He said, number two, always be proud of your religion. He said, number three, get an education. And he said, number four, if we have time, let's try to win some football games. Now, here I was, 18 years old, 700 miles away from home, looking at this coach standing in front of me and not even caring about the game of football. Because he realized that if you take the core values that you're going to need, you heard Brandon, he, you know what? He's preparing you for life. This may be a stepping stone for a lot of you to go to bigger and better things. This is going to be an opportunity for you to have this on your resume so that when you're, you're confronted and you got to knock on the door, you have enough confidence in yourself to say, hey, this is who I am. See, Coach Bryant taught us at an early age that the game of football would open up some doors, but it's not always life. We only lost six games in four years. We won three SEC titles, and we won a national championship. I went and I played in two All-Star games. I got drafted by the New York Jets, 14th player picked in the first round, 1979. Now here was my childhood dream becoming a reality. Of all teams to get drafted by, I get drafted by the Jets. Value the time that you have. Make time. I always tell people, if you want to be successful in life, you have to make a commitment to doing something. And a commitment means take the words of a promise, make them become a reality. He said, but I want to, I want to remind you of this. He said, a winner in the game of life is the person that gives of themselves so others can grow. Then all of a sudden, life throws you curveball. You never know when they're going to come, but you got to be ready for them. And we say time heals everything. It doesn't. Time just allows you to find a vehicle to cope with the loss. See, to be successful in life, it really starts with you looking at yourself and asking yourself, what do you want out of life? You have a starting point on your headstone when you were born and you have an end. But the little dash is gonna define you and me. And I started the foundation for terminally ill children. The children I work with now, if you line up 10 of them, six of them will never have the opportunity you have. We can all make a difference. That's what you gotta tell yourself. We can all make a difference. See, if you don't care about yourself, if you don't represent yourself well, and you don't look at this as an opportunity, as a stepping stone in life, life's going to pass you by. Everything you learn here at Steiner Sports is like putting it in a toolbox, and that toolbox is going to advance you in life. Choose your words wisely. Give people words of encouragement, and you never know where it could go. I appreciate your time this morning. Brendan, always a pleasure to see you. Margaret, Steve, and the whole group.